Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We're going hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are on fire. Joke around.
Target is down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Out. Ready to move out, Commander. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. Oh, well, that's just great. What now? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? 
Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army. He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. Don't worry about it, Captain. I do worry. That's why I'm still alive. Why don't you go talk to the Krogan? My men and I need some time to come up with a new plan of attack. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. Looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. I'll be careful. But be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. Calm down, Rex. I'm not the enemy here. Saren's the one you should be mad at. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. I don't care what your personal feelings are. This base gets destroyed. Don't push me, Shepard. I followed you because I wanted to fight for something more than credits. If you can't give me a better reason than this to destroy the hopes of my people, then I'm done with you. I can't let you jeopardize the mission. So that's it. All this time, and that's all I get from you. How can you not see what this means to the Krogan? This base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. Rex, please. We can discuss this. No more talk, Shepard. I've got to do this my way. Thanks, Chief. He just wasn't gonna listen to reason. I kinda figured. Wait, what? Did you just kill him, Chief? Better him than the Commander. Yeah. I suppose. Rex's fate was regrettable, but inevitable given the circumstances. We better succeed, human. 
We still feel the toll of the Krogan Rebellion. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. I'm ready to go when you are, Commander. I've been on this mission far too long. My brood won't even recognize me. You did the right thing with Rex. He could have jeopardized the whole mission. The upcoming battle frightens me, but I know Seren must be stopped. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. Let me see what you have. What little there is. Thank you. 
I'm sorry the Krogan couldn't be reasoned with. Shall I arrange for a Council-sponsored service, or should we dump his body in the swamps? We couldn't have gotten this far without him. We owe him a decent burial. You have a strange code of honor, Commander Shepard. But I will see the arrangements are made, assuming we survive the assault on Saren's base. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. We won't be able to meet their force head on. Definitely not. But I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. You expect me to commit one of my people to your command? We are all soldiers by trade. If your people are not prepared to face such a risk, would you really want them by your side? He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. I volunteer. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary, though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Williams, you'll accompany the Captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the Ordnance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? Let's do this. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you want to say, Chief? I, I don't know. It's just weird. Going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. I know. I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. Whatever happens, everyone just keep shooting. We go in hard, hit them harder, and we'll be the only damn thing that comes out the other side. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission, and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glorying in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again.
Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Final line, Teato teams, move. Time to get some attention. Something scrambled, they're targeting. We've got a shot. Chief Williams, take the heat off Malavai. Sat strikes. Jayetto, watch for comm stations. Williams, can you see anything?
perimeter stations to recharge. Bunker up before they come back. Security. Should be able to cut the alarms from here, might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for Williams and his hilarious to handle. Williams can take a few more. Minimize the guard presence in the base. Aye, aye, Commander. I hope Williams is ready for this. Someone out there?
Well, you're not a gat. And you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Gonto Inness of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment captured during recall. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? Everyone here is indoctrinated. You might be working for Saren. My whole team was altered. But I was left alone as a control subject. And I still have my senses, although I almost wish I didn't. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I ended them. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. before it's too late. Let's hear it. Who are you and what do you want? Granith the Noctis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you don't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never... Ah! You enjoyed that.
Commander, look over here. It's another beacon. Like the one on Eden Prime. This is not good. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Whatever your plan is, it's gonna fail. I'll make sure of that. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance. And at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us. Letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. 
You cannot escape your doom. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship Sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. We need to wrap things up in there fast. This console is shot. Orders, Commander. We'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Right, Commander. I'll meet you there. Joke around.